A stitch in time, eh, my friends? Quiet day on the market, it seems. Red and orange, yellow and green, the finest veggies size seals ever seen. Dearest customer, I've never seen an aura so plagued by ether. Thank a starty, I've just the earth scroll to ground you. Tomatoes. Not in the mood for cheese. That excuse is more holes than a slice of this fine golden bear. <laughs> It, it seems. I'm straight. I'm true. Harry Violet Adams. Any takers? Come on, you chickens. <laughs> Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Aaron has as many friends as the bed for the many cheeses. No better solution to the zombie problem than a set of silver arrows. <laughs> Wing of worm, brew and spice them, stir and churn. Get it while it's fresh. These batches only hours for the team. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Fresh halibut. Oh, fry up. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Pay the big cheese on your block for the wheel of the good stuff. Set of silver arrows. Pay the 
big change on your block for the wheel of the good stuff. Join the Spud Club if you've got an eye for farm potatoes. Heavenly herring, delicious dogfish. Yawn for a crap goldfish. Watch the undead quiver in their mouldy boots. <laughs> Join the Spud Club if you've got an eye for farm potatoes. Any takers? Come on, you chickens! Made a big cheese on your block with a wheel of the good stuff. Solution to the zombie problem and a set of silver arrows. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Red and orange, yellow and green, the finest veggie size seals ever seen. Toe of snake, wing of worm. Brew and spice them, stir and churn! Let us see if you can choose the finest greens! Toe of snake, wing of worm, brew and spice them, stir and churn! Aaron has as many friends as the bed with many cheeses. Better solution to the zombie problem than a set of silver arrows. Aaron has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. Heavenly herring, delicious dogfish, yours for a scrap of gold each. No better solution to the zombie problem than a set of silver arrows. <laughs> Join the Spud Club if you've got an eye for farm potatoes. Red and orange, yellow and green, the finest veggie size seals ever seen. Any takers? Come on, you chickens! Red and orange, yellow and green, the finest veggie size seals ever seen. Lonesome? Spiritless? Perhaps wrestling an earth elemental will inject some vim into your routine? friend. Your upper chakras are in desperate need of a good scrubbing. Fortunately for you, my homebrew tinctures will do the job. Or if you're in the mood for something a bit more electrifying, one of my air scrolls might give your system just the shock it needs.
Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Let us see if you can choose the finest greens. Pay the big cheese on your cloth with a whale of the good stuff. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Fresh halibut. A little bit more fire. Lonesome. Spiritless. Perhaps wrestling an earth elemental will inject some vim into your routine. Get it while it's fresh. This batch is only hours from the sea. Not in the mood for cheese. That excuse is more holes than a slice of this fine Corbett man. Lonesome. Spiritless. Perhaps wrestling an earth elemental will inject some vim into your routine. Red and orange, yellow and green, the finest veggies size seals ever seen. Watch the undead quiver in their mouldy boots. Join the Spud Club if you've got an eye for farm potatoes. Get it while it's fresh. This batch is only hours from the sea. Not in the mood for cheese. That excuse is more hope than a slice of this fine Corbett man. Portions to be muscle you, scrolls to entussle you. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Pay the big cheese on your block with a wheel of the good stuff. Lonesome. Spiritless? Perhaps wrestling an earth elemental will inject some vim into your routine? Aaron has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. Let us see if you can choose the finest green! Mood for cheese. Next. What's the word, Source Hunter? Continue your search. You are so close to the end of your journey. You cannot falter now. I believe the answer to that begins centuries ago, when your order was still cutting down so-called dark magicians by- Ours was a family of still. Their meekness wouldn't save them from the Source Hunters. Their ware 
and why is of no import. This moment is all there is. The crux is what we do with it. Divines, doubly bless you, friend. You don't think it's infected, do you? Come on now, I pulled her off you before she could do any real damage. Any real damage? Are you joking? I've been mauled. I'll be disfigured for life. Ah, uh, come on with the dramatics. It's not as bad as all that. The face, Furious. She bit me in the face. Look on the bright side. Everyone knows the ugly soldiers are the most ferocious. Ugly will be the least of it. The beast looks rabid. In that case, you'll have the pleasure of putting her down yourself. I wish for you to try it, screech woman. Get to shining recruits. Sorry, sir. See you half a brain behind that feral wall, have you? Ah, the Source Hunter. Oh, joyous hour.
Source Hunter, you stand at the very doorstep of dreaded Phantom Forest, and before you enter these woods, I need to tell you something. Something about me and Cassandra. The first thing you should know, my friend, is that I am not a human. I am in fact a true cat. At least, such was my start in life. I will tell you all, and all begins with Cassandra. Her tale is not a happy one. She was kept like a prisoner in her brother Bracus's castle. Locked up, alone in a tower like some fairy tale princess. One day, though, I came along. A young little tomcat that climbed up the branches of a tree, reaching her window. She was kind to me. Fed me well and petted me to my heart's content. But her loneliness drove her to do more. She was a sorceress, you see, and with her magic gave me human consciousness and a voice to give it expression. We talked the days away, content to know one another, but once more, her loneliness drove her further. One morning I woke, and to my horror, yes, horror, I was a man, a cat no longer. Don't worry, she assured me. You can be your own self still, but here with me, a man you must be. Despite my confusion and apprehension, I admit it didn't take long for me to enjoy the newfound pleasures of a newfound existence. I loved her truly, loved her deeply, but then her brother took her, and when she returned, she was a lich. Twisted and vile. In terror, I recoiled, fled our tower, and was soon discovered by Bracus's sentinels. They dragged me to the Mad King. So enraged was he to discover she had loved another that he feasted all his wrath upon me. All that is sweet and good in life ceased for many long years. Yet, despite it all, I loved Cassandra still, remembering the woman that was. So when the Source Hunters came, I wasn't simply liberated like I told you, no. I searched for Cassandra and, knowing she'd be executed on the spot, helped her make her escape. I, Hunter, I helped a sorceress lick escape. And that is the very reason I'm divulging all this. To warn you that she is here. Yes, it is true. Cassandra is the phantom that gives Phantom Forest its name. I fear that will indeed be inevitable. This is her forest now. She, its queen. No trespass remains without consequence, and I have no clue how her mind twists and turns after all these years. Human yet, or horror only. Humanity. Oh, how I hope, imperfect though it may be, that a glimpse of humanity may still lie buried beneath the Lich Cassandra is today. Be that as it may, stand warned that she possesses phenomenal powers, and that she is impervious to the sting of sword or sorcery. I haven't laid eyes on Cassandra in many ages, Hunter, and I fear for what you may find. What a tale that was! A cat turned human, soon swept into all kinds of misery for all his troubles. Agreed. 
Perhaps one day he'll love again and see there is value to be found in being human after all. Xandalore's amulet is protecting me. The spectral taint has no effect. Seems only the area directly around the bridge is haunted. 